Hello guys, you're welcome. My name is CJ Manuel. Uh, I bring you guys updates from AAS, Africa Arbitrage. In this video, we shall be talking about AAS shutdown update um, and some information we got from the AMA meeting of the 14th of April, 2023 with the CEO, Jessa Michael. Okay, so I'm going to give you some updates on my personal take my personal understanding of what was conveyed in that meeting so i have lots of um points lots of information to give to you so make sure you don't skip any part of this video make sure you watch to the very end because you may pick one or two even if you are familiar with that meeting you may still pick one or two information that will help you okay so before we proceed if you are not subscribed to my channel do well to subscribe click the subscribe button a bell icon will pop up click that bell icon and then select the option that says all by so doing you are fully subscribed to the channel and also do well to give this video a thumbs up just click the like button it doesn't take anything from you that is the only way you can support the effort we put in bringing out this information okay and um it is very important you go through the disclaimer i am not a financial advisor so don't see this video as a financial advice note vividly that you're solely responsible for financial you take or refuse to take as a result of watching this video i do not speak for aas i am not part of aas admin i'm not part of the inner circle I am just a common investor like you. So I do not represent them. I do not speak for them. So whatever I say here will be my own personal view, my own personal opinion. Even the updates I'm going to bring as a result of that meeting, um, I may be misinterpreting the CEO. So don't take my word for it, okay? You can still go search for the exact words of the CEO because what I wrote here is not the exact words of the CEO. So there is the possibility of me misrepresenting what he intends to say. I hope that is very, very clear. So this is absolutely my personal opinion. Don't take, don't take me by my words, okay? Because I may be right i may be wrong that is fact for more information for more updates do well to join our telegram channel very very important this is where i drop more updates from the official telegram of aas so make sure you join our telegram channel africa arbitrage underscore tra okay also in the description box you find our referral link you can make use of our referral referral link to join the platform and of course by using our referral link we have benefit for that referral okay as a result of you using our link we have benefits so i haven't said that i have some points i've written down personally personally of what i understand from what was said in the meeting so listen very attentively okay so number one AAS came under serious cyber attack using a high-level bypass boat. Okay? Um, the attack necessitated the upgrade of AAS trading boat, which further requires shutting down of AAS boat. So unlike before, when the site will be having issue and they will tell you that the trading is still ongoing at the background. This is not the case. The trading boat is completely shut down. It doesn't affect the server, the host. It doesn't affect that. So that's why you can see that you can still log into your uh, account. But you see, find out that your timer is zero. Trade is not going on. I hope that is clear. So even if along the line, the, the, you can't access your, the site, is, uh, it goes down still know that it's as a result of the upgrade that is necessary okay 
we expected the AAS shutdown to last for 30 days. 30 days, starting from yesterday, the 15th. Okay, that's where the timing starts, the counting starts. 15th of April through 15th of May. Okay? But be flexible with the date in case it exceeds the date. You will not be too anxious. That is how I project things. Okay? Yes, the CEO has given us uh, from 15th April to 15th May. But at the same time, I, I, I program myself for possibilities, for unforeseen circumstances. So don't fixate your mind and your plans on this date because it may exceed in case it exceeds so that you will not be anxious. So give room, give it a room, okay? It may come before that, they may be true before the 15th and they may be true after the 15th. So just give it space. Don't fixate your mind on the date, okay? But this is our expectation. By the 15th of May, everything should be up and running smoothly, okay? There will be no trading at the back end for 30 days. Like I said before, everything is paused. Okay, this is not the first time. You have to understand that this is not the first time this is happening. Those of you that were around before the public launch of AAS can attest to the fact that during the building and testing phase, this kind of shutdown also happened and AAS finally came back as promised. So this time will not be different. The shutdown will enable AAS to upgrade their boat to a higher version because the bypass boat that is being used is very, very higher than the current boat we are having. So they have to upgrade it to a higher version of the boat. Okay, This upgrade may settle the issues of missed ROI in the old version. I say it may it may settle the issue of mixed ROI. Okay, so maybe after this update, we may not be facing the mixed ROI anymore. Okay, now some of you may be wondering, uh, why will they be attacked, uh, blah, blah, blah. I, talk they, I thought they are very secure and all that. But the fact is that if SafeMoon, Binance, and other very reputable platforms can be hacked, I think it's not more than two months or one month thereabout that Binance was hacked. I'm talking about current hacking. I'm not talking about uh, previous hacking. Safe Moon, the same thing. Okay? And um, the hackers have been able to make these companies to lose uh, billions of dollars. Okay? So this little AAS will not be an exemption. And AAS cannot be stronger than this very powerful company. So attack attack is part of the digital world okay hacking is part of the digital world however because safe moon and binance are genuine they sustained the business i believe aas is also genuine so they are going to survive because they have they've taken some certain uh, measures that makes the platform to be safe and the fund of investors also to be safe okay so I believe personally that AAS will come back strong, okay? Your capital in the liquidity pool are safe with Binance, according to AAS, okay? Thank God Jessam locked the liquidity, uh, the liquidity pool. Now you can see the benefits of locking the liquidity pool. A lot of people are so angry at Jessam for locking the liquidity pool. Oh, they want to withdraw capital on all that. Why did you lock it? Why did you lock? But now you can see the benefit that with this locking, we will be safe from serious attacks. And your funds will be safe. Very, very important. That means honesty, sincerity, and having the um, uh, interest of investors at heart. I honestly believe Jessam is genuine. His face is known. Unlike some other companies that their faces are not known. Some other companies out there, if you have been online for a long time, you find out that even some companies whose faces are known, those people are not the real operators of the company. They hire people to act as CEOs. 
But in this case, you know that uh, Jason Michael is genuine. His face is well known. His family is as is known. He he exposed his family, his wife, his children, his mother. They are all exposed. They are all known. So this kind of person is not someone that will just come to run away. And recently, uh, he preached AAS in his own state. Jason went to his own state. This is something that only a foolish scammer would do to bring scam even to your own state or town or community where maybe, that, maybe if something happened, you may hide there. You went and exposed yourself to people that are supposed to hide you. So for him to have done this means that he has good intentions. Okay? And during his uh, promotion of AAS in his state, uh, um, I believe he opened 100 free AAS accounts for the participants and funded each of those accounts with $1,000 each, which is a total of $100,000 he gave to people he doesn't even know. And this is about $74 million Naira. So you see, I believe, I still have the belief that he is genuine. So we should give him the benefit of doubt. Okay? In that meeting in his state, he told them that AAS will be locked for 30 days. This is what I call transparency. While he was telling them about AAS and he was opening account for part uh, participants of that uh, meeting in his state, he openly told them the current condition of what is going on and that the that AS we may be shut down for 30 days. So that is transparency. While he was marketing to them, he still told them the situation on ground. That is transparency. Okay? And like we said before, this is not the first time. Okay? When asked about compensating members for the 30 days, you know, a lot of members are saying, is it going to compensate members for these 30 days that, uh, that we are not going to be doing trading? The CEO did not want to make promises, okay? He, he restrained from making promises, but his body language indicated he would definitely compensate us, okay? Maybe by giving us higher ROI to cover up. Okay, he restrained from making promises. You know, if it were to be some people, they want to make big promises in order to, to convince you to stay put, to convince you to, you know, uh, believe that he's still around. But he restrained in making promises because we are going to hold him by his word when he makes those promises. But his body language showed that he is very much interested to definitely compensate us for not trading 30 days. And I believe personal that he's going to do it, okay? Because for me, that's the wise thing to do in order to tell the, the community, thank you for trusting me. So I believe he's going to do it and his body language indicated that, okay? So he may decide to increase the return on investment percentage, maybe for one month or maybe forever. Who knows? Maybe 3.5% will run it for the next month or maybe 5% for one month. Who knows, okay? So, um, the CEO was asked, okay, this one is very funny now. The CEO was asked if this is not an exit strategy, uh, okay, if this um, 30 days update, upgrade is not an exit uh, strategy. And uh, he responded by saying if he wanted to run, to run away, he would have done that with the better testers money. For those of you that have been around from the inception, even before the launch, you, you know that better testers have a lot of money on the platform. While When he didn't go public, he was you know, trying to test the system he built if it is working very uh, well. So, and better tester had lots of money there. So if he had wanted to run away with that, with people's money, he would have run away with the better testers money. And surprisingly, of course, not surprisingly, at that time, people were also saying that he wants to run away. But finally, he didn't run away with the people's money, okay? He still did as he promised. 
okay the ceo was asked about binance usa the listing uh, usdt trc20 okay or the listing usdt and how it is going to affect us members of aas okay the ceo assured members that they should not worry about that as there is always a way out and that he will discuss that issue with binance for a solution so he assured us members that are uh, a, 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 a usas members not to bother about that there is always a modality there's always a way to go around it okay so for those of you in us just be at peace ASCO Jason Michael was advised by some members in the comment section to speak less about the security and strength of AAS and as this attract hackers. Okay, a lot of members we are genuinely concerned that he should mellow down in his you know utterances of what he's building, how the strength of the platform is, and all that. Um, but uh, the CEO uh disagree with the notion that it is his comments that attracts hackers okay he gave an example that um safe moon binance and other powerful platforms we are not making noise they were not they weren't saying anything yet they are being attacked seriously seriously even this very year they are being seriously attacked so it's not about the utterances Okay, it's about the legitimacy of the platform and a lot of people don't want anything legit online. Okay, so these high-level hackers, because the people attacking AS, they are not minor hackers. They are high-level hackers. They go for genuine companies that they don't want to exist. They don't want to help the common man. Okay, so um he said high ranking hackers come for you when they know you are legit and have a long term goal he further suspected that these high level hackers may be okay it's just a suspicion may be government or cartel sponsored you know the rich don't want the masses to be rich so they can continue to control them Okay, you know, crypto have made a lot of common man to be to 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 have success in life because they bypass a lot of government problems. That is why it is called decentralized. Cryptocurrency is meant to be decentralized, not to be centralized. And you and I know that government hates decentralization because they want to track you on everything and they want to task you ask the hell out of you on everything so they don't like crypto that is why you see governments fighting crypto every day so it is left for you the common man the government will only succeed if the common man allows them but crypto is for the interest of the common man so we should not succumb we should be strong okay we should be strong and this last statement about I suspected all this because I know that there are people that don't want the common man to grow, the common people, the common citizen to be successful. So they are going to fight any genuine platform. If it's a Ponzi platform, they may intentionally overlook because they know that in the next three, six months, one year, it will be no more. And that will discourage people from investing online. Okay? That fear. But... When they see the one that will be genuine and last long, that will be a serious threat to them and they will not be happy. So the attack AS is facing is a very high level attack. It's not just ordinary attack. Okay? Because the bypass, the bypass boat that is being used is also high level. It's not something for you to use such tool, you invested a lot in order to make the attack. So now, let me go further with my personal take on all this online stuff and all that okay so i personally i believe that aas will come back stronger okay however like i always say every business is a risk don't put your life into online business 
Always invest what you can bear to lose. Always use your spare money. I used to say this over and over again. Some people think I'm just saying it for saying sake. And that's why you see my disclaimer. I always say that. Okay? This is fact. And I want you to understand this fact. There is no platform I promote online that I don't personally risk my own money. Okay? But I do that with the knowledge that there is always a risk. And that is what I want you to also understand so that you don't be taken unawares. Do you understand? So if you tell me you put your life to this, then you have yourself to blame. Always take responsibility for your actions. Not taking any risk is not an option for me personally because without risks, you cannot succeed in life. There are those who are millionaires today because of the risks they took investing online. So saying, oh, this space is too risky, I'm not going to do it, blah, blah, blah. That is your choice, but it is not on my table. Personally, I will continue doing what I'm doing. It's my money, it's my risk, that's my choice. Okay? Do you? So I'm not making all these videos to convince you. I'm only telling you what I personally believe and how I, I view life and how I operate. Okay? So personally, I won't stop taking the risk. It's my choice. It's my money. It's my decision. You make your own decision and take responsibility. Don't blame anybody for your actions. Just as I don't blame anybody for whatever actions or risks I take. I don't go to my upline and start, you no know, blabbing. It's my decision. It's my choice. Okay? So finally, I believe AAS will come back strong and better. So don't give yourself unnecessary uh, high blood pressure. Be patient. Trust the system, trust the process. Make sure you join our Telegram group. Okay? Very, very important so that you get updates on what is going on on AAS. So that is it, guys. I believe this video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button. It's very, very important you click the like button. Okay? Please click the like button and drop a comment in the comment section okay all great patterns drop just comment in the comment section just type pattern okay just type arm is pattern okay in the comment section i wish you guys the best of luck for more of this join our telegram group very very important thank you guys i'm logging off don't forget to like don't forget to share this video video don't forget to drop Comment saying I'm a Spartan in the comment section. Bye.